Del Freeman. Uh, came to work in 1964 and went to the full scale tunnel, worked there until 1971. And so, what did you do in the full scale tunnel? I was a test engineer and did all of the things that a test engineer did uh, flight tests, I mean, free flying, static fort tests, everything. Is there any particular thing that stands out about what made the full scale tunnel different than other facilities? Mm, I, I view it as probably one of the most unique uh, training experiences that this center has, basically. Uh, came to work here and had been here about a year as a GS-9. Uh, I'm running night shift. I've got 13 guys I'm responsible for. I'm responsible for a test. And more or less, you know, I'm getting experience in people management, I'm getting experience in my technical field of aerodynamics, and I'm getting experience because of the models and design and, and, and manufacturing, really. So it, it, it was a very good basis for me uh, to uh, build on, you know, as, as I moved into other areas at the center. So did the history strike you? I mean, how did you feel about the history while you were working there? Uh, it was there, no question. Uh, the folks there were definitely, uh, many of the folks had come through the war time period and had that, that experience and uh, very capable. Uh, most of the folks were not only wind tunnel technicians, but just about every one of them were qualified aircraft mechanics. And all of that kind of helped you when you were trying to do, do your job. What kind of planes did y'all test when you were there, through there? Well, I did supersonic transports. I did uh, the PA-30 type. The, uh, I did uh, the fighters, X, uh, F-15, F-14. Uh, I did the jet, the C-5A. We did the externally blown jet flap work. All of those things. So when you look at airplanes, do you think about the full-scale tunnel? Oh yeah, yeah. I know, know that there's a heritage there that goes right back to that tunnel and solve some specific problems.